The first time we really realised the impact of altitude on athletic performance was in the 1968 Olympic Games when we saw a number of favoured endurance athletes underperform due to the altitude in Mexico City. We also saw the rise of the African athletes who lived and trained at altitude and coaches and athletes realised that there was the potential to gain a benefit in athletic performance by undertaking hypoxic training. More recently we have sought to examine how we can actually have athletes train at altitude without the need to travel to the various venues around the world. This has led to the rise of the hypoxic training concept where we actually simulate altitude by reducing the oxygen content of the air that the athlete breathes. This provides a stimulus for a number of body changes and can help upregulate the training response of an athlete so they can get more benefit from the same training or can reduce training intensity and the negative impact of training and still get the same performance benefits that the coach and the athlete are after.